Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzbringer and of course, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build. Today we're going to be Let's Building the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes set titled Spider Trike vs. Electro. Now at first when I read Trike, I thought it was like a tricycle. I was like, I don't know if Spider-Man really should be using a tricycle to catch up to Electro. But then, of course, I actually saw the set and I realized, well, that looks like a pretty cool vehicle indeed. As you can see, it's got four wheels. It's got a unique shape to it. So I'm very much looking forward to putting that together. Plus it comes with a fantastic looking Electro figurine. And of course, another Spidey to add to the collection. Now, of course, the set consists of 70 pieces, so it should be a pretty big, uh, sorry, pretty quick episode of Let's Build, but then, you know how I like to ramble, so probably won't be such a, <laughs> uh, such a short build either. But unless the set is also numbered 76014, of course, as always, I've got some of your questions from the last episode of Let's Build, so, of course, there you have it, a whole bunch of names. If you want me to feature in an upcoming episode of Let's Build, then, of course, leave comments down in the comment section below with questions, comments, whatever it is that you have, either about Marvel superheroes, Legos, it doesn't really matter, it's all up to you guys, so leave those in the comment section below. So, of course, let's get a cracking if you don't know what the Let's Build is. Of course, I just take a Lego set that is usually relatively small, like this one for example and then questions and we just casually assemble the set have fun with that but then at the same time we also of course uh, go on ahead and read some of your questions and comments so with that means without further ado let's go on ahead and punch through this so we're gonna go ahead and open up the package Ooh, it looks like Spidey's gonna have some sort of jumping feature built into this so this looks kind of promising Ooh, just one baggie been a little while since I've built something that, oh, never mind, two baggies. So I got one for the, oh, and stickers. Oh, yeah, 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 I don't like stickers. You guys know me and stickers are not great friends. I always want to be friends with the stickers, but they're like, no, we don't want to be friends with you. So some of you guys asked for me to do a picture of the manual as I'm assembling it for these. I don't think I could do that because the problem is, uh, be, the, the big issue with, okay, actually, here it is. It's Norsey Pearly said, Blitzwing, you should really put a picture in the corner of the screen. In the picture, there should be a manual for the set you're building. It should be turned to the page you're on and show what you're working on. I'm sorry if that's too much to ask, but I think it would be really helpful. So, basically, I thought of that idea, and I thought that that is a fantastic idea. So, first of all, thank you so much for that suggestion. That is a great, great idea. But, the problem with doing this would be that I would need to require another camera to put over time top so that I could be scanning and filming the manual while it's happening. Now the other thing that I could do is I actually take pictures of each uh, page of the manual and I don't know if that would be a great idea because I think that would be kind of staticky and it won't be as alive. So I don't know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. Let me know down in the comment section below and of course as always I would take it into consideration. Looks like as soon as I dump stuff out on the black table a whole bunch of stuff happens. So here we go! First page is going to be to assemble both Spidey and Electro who seems to actually also come with some sort of a jewel here so that yeah, looks kind of interesting and a little bit of an electric blast so let's get that done real quick so let me try to find oh there's spidey's head and wow look at that they gave electro a translucent head that is pretty awesome that is very very much awesome indeed look at that bam that just looks cool i really like that i like the expression too looks really awesome all right, so we're going to go ahead and assemble Spidey. So here's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Of course, we've gotten this guy before, so I've reviewed him in the Doc Ock set, uh, set, by the way. Of course, I'll also do a review of this set, so if you're only interested in a review, stay tuned. That will be coming very, very, very shortly, hopefully. All right, so it looks like he comes with a little green translucent jewel, which is pretty promising. That looks cool. And then we're supposed to give him one of these electro-zapping thingamajigs. Which looks awesome. I actually really like the details on that. That looks really fantastic. And overall, just the character looks great. So yeah, Electro looks fantastic. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Alright, so, let's begin with the questions, shall we? Um, alrighty. So, Thomas Hendrickson says, do a Marvel or DC build? Hey, there you go, Thomas. I answered your calls, my friend. You asked for it, and I listened, and I did it exactly as you guys asked. You guys asked for a Marvel or DC Let's build episode. Well, that's exactly what you're getting here today. As you can see, we've got our Marvel build, the Spider Trike versus the Electro set, and I might make another one uh, shortly. We'll see. Of course, if you guys like it, smash that like button and let me know in the comment section below that you would like to see more of the superhero sets. If you want to see some more of the TMNT sets, whatever it is, just let me know down in the comment section below. As you guys know, I always like to listen to your responses, and obviously that kind of is what I use to drive my decisions is basically stuff that you guys want to see. So this is the little uh, 
disc, I guess, would be kind of like electrical disc for Electra. So that looks pretty sweet, and you could rotate around. So that looks interesting. Pretty promising. I definitely don't want to be formulating a huge opinion on these things, especially because I'm gonna be doing a review. So it's like no matter what, once I do a review, it's gonna I'm gonna talk about things anyway. So might as well save my real, real in-depth thoughts for that. Let's put it this way. All right. So let's carry on with the next question, which is is sorry. Um, where is it? There we go. Sorry, I should have highlighted the names. Uh, Baba Sawyer says, Hey Blitzwinger, love your videos. Also, will you review the new TMNT sets that are based on the new movie? Do you think that the new movie will be any good? I'm assuming you're talking, obviously, about the TMNT film. I, I actually am pretty opt optimistic about it. It looks like it's going to be actually a pretty fun film. I know a lot of people are really down on it already before it's even come out. Like, a lot of people are saying that it's going to be horrible. I don't think it's going to be awful. I actually, for some reason, I have this weird feeling that it's actually going to end up being a pretty good movie. Like, I think a lot of people are going to be kind of uh, eating crow after that film because they're going to be like, oh, wow, that was better than what I thought. Or, of course, I could be eating crow because it's probably, it's expected that it's not going to do well. So, for some reason, though, I've got this hunch that it's going to be a fun film. Like, I don't think it's going to be, obviously, like uh, some sort of an Oscar masterpiece or something like that. But what I think it will be is I think it will be a really fun movie that a lot of people are going to actually walk away from and uh, think that, you know what, that was a little bit better than I actually expected it to be. And that's kind of what I think uh, is going to happen with that movie. Could be wrong. Now, as far as the sets, I have to be honest, I don't, I'm not a particularly big fan of the designs of the Turtles. So I'm going to go into the movie, obviously, optimistic about the movie being decent and everything like that. But at the same time, I have to be fair with you guys, I always am, about my opinion on the actual designs i can't say that i actually like the new turtles i don't I, I don't know what it is i think it's just the the nostrils on their face like it just makes them look very very awkward for me so i can't really get into the look of the turtles which is why i'm most likely not going to be picking up the sets because obviously those sets are very very driven by you know aesthetical aesthetically pleasing kind of designs and such and since I'm not aesthetically interested in these designs I don't really see any point in me spending money on them nor is there any point for me to invest in them so I don't really see I don't understand why this is a little bit off there's like just a tiny smidgen that I, they're not aligned so it's kind of weird for me okay I'm not sure what causes that but hey it is what it is I guess uh, so yeah I'm not sure that I'll be investing in those just because again they're not cheap they didn't make a lot of like small sets or anything like that so I don't really have kind of like an entry level set that I could just pick up and say well there you go guys I did a TMNT set review again don't count it out because if some of them go on a really good sale or something or if I see a set in particular in the store or something and I'm like you know what that looks really interesting and that looks like something that would be really fun to assemble I could definitely pick one up so I'm not going to say 100% that it's a no but at the same time I wouldn't really count on it especially at this point in time so hope that answers your question Bobasaur or Bobasaur or Bobasaur or Bulbasaur it's one of those <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to make fun of you there I just made fun of the fact that I can't read names. So, next up, Fred Bob says, uh, how much Lego do you own? Do you know about any big sets you might get? Are you going to get a big set and do a let's build in sections? Great video, continue, great as ever, Blitz. Thank you so much for your kind response there. It always me uh, makes me smile and always means a lot to me when uh, people are so kind and so nice. So thank you so much. And now as far as me getting some of the larger sets, I have actually acquired a pretty big set just uh, about four, four, no, five days ago, actually, which was a DC set that I will be reviewing shortly. All I'm going to say it has the Joker in it. So there you go. That That's your hint. Not much of a hint, I know, but some of you will probably still guess it's in your set and it has the Joker in it. There you go. That's a big, big hint already. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing, uh, to doing a review of that. And it was a super duper fun build. Such a cool set and you'll see it shortly. So I guess the answer is yes. Now as far as doing let's builds on those, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe I'll do like time lapse videos because some of you guys were interested in that. So of course, let me know again down in the comment section below if you guys would be interested in seeing something along the lines of a time lapse assembly of a certain set, I would definitely consider doing something like that, especially in the near future. So let me know down in the comment section below if that is something that you guys would be intrigued in seeing and uh, would find to be interesting to watch, basically. Because if it isn't, then obviously there's no point for me to go ahead and um, make it and put it on video, right? Because obviously, what is what is the purpose? All right, so for now, I think we're done with this little core skeleton side. So now we're starting to assemble this piece right here. 
which is going to be this tiny little kind of, uh, I guess, where Spidey would actually be sitting. So here we go. And we move on to the next question, shall we? Alrighty, so the next question comes from Supervlog. Great name. Not that the other ones weren't great. I know I have to say that right away because some people are going to right away say, Oh, you don't think my name is great? I think all of them are great. I'm just saying that this one kind of popped to my mind right now. All right, Super Vlog, what's your favorite character in the TMNT? For me, um, I, I'm like, I'm always, I've always been a Leonardo kind of guy, like that he's been my favorite just because he's the leader and everything and he was kind of the righteous one and all that. So I always found this character to be really, really interesting in terms of being very pure and such. But at the same time, the new uh, TMNT TV show has actually made me quite a big fan of Donatello and he's definitely uh, shot up on my list of my favorite characters. In fact, I would probably say that he is number two and very, very closely um, close to Leonardo where he's pushing just barely uh, to be in number one just because of how cool his character is in the new cartoon and I really really love his uh, interpretation in the new cartoon. So the next question after that is Zachary Bahar who says I really don't like the intro idea. I do prefer the opening right now. I love the Let's Build series. Please keep doing them. Thank you very much for your kind response. Of course, last time, as you can see, I always listen to your responses. I asked you guys, what would you think about the intro and all that? Now, the intro is getting done and everything, so I'm going to have it on some videos. I've decided it's going to be on certain, like, vlog-type videos, not on all the videos, because I do think, like, I'm not a big, big fan of having an intro on everything, so that is exactly why most likely what will happen is I will have it on a certain set of videos like let's say vlog type videos or mail type videos or something like that but it won't be apparent on all of them so i hope you guys will be okay with that and i hope you guys won't be too mad about that particular decision but that is kind of what i've decided so far and then of course in the f in the future you never know things could always change go back to the way they were or maybe i'll because a lot of people like the intro i'll use it on all the videos so who knows it's just a matter of time of uh figuring it out okay here we go this is the panic mode where I don't need to, oh, I, I gotta stop breathing or something to not get this wrong. Oh, please, please go straight. Nope, that's not straight. Oh, come on, stickers. Come on! Why do they not just print this on? This is torturous. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Bam! Look at that. That is not bad at all. Woohoo! It only took me like five minutes to do that. Not really, but still. That was uh, that was pretty intense. Those moments always like make me nervous. So, uh, let's carry on with the next question. I hope I answered that uh, well enough, uh, or commented onto your comment uh, well enough. Uh, Vishu Sawan says, do you like building, sorry, did you like building Legos as a kid? Absolutely. I didn't really get a chance to build very many Legos because Legos were, well, I mean, they're still really, really expensive, but honestly, compare the prices that what they the price that they cost here in uh, North America is way way cheaper than what they cost uh, in the country that I came from and over there like it was basically one of those things where if you were getting a Lego set it was like once a year for your birthday that that was pretty much it and even then I had a pretty decent Lego collection I would always ask there was like two or three years of my uh, childhood where literally all I asked for was Legos like it was Christmas Legos um, birthdays, Legos, like, that's all I asked for. I got some Mega Blocks, which were pretty cool. I, I never liked those quite a bit as Legos, just because the quality always kind of felt a little bit more poor on them. I don't know, maybe that was just, like, my own bias type thing. By the way, we're putting into, uh, we're putting together the tires already, which is pretty awesome. I forgot to detail this piece right here, so I'm just gonna put that over here. And, uh, yeah, so, it was just one of those things that, I, I don't know why I never enjoyed Mega Blocks, so, I would always collect Legos, and I had a pretty, not huge, but a pretty solid collection of Legos, like about three big, big, giant boxes and a good, I don't know, 50 or 60 mini uh, figures or so uh, as a kid. Now, those I collected over the span of many, many months, plus, uh, obviously, I had this one, mom uh, at one moment in time where actually our family friends... Uh, they had uh, a boy who was, um, well, I guess he was already a man because he was too old. So he was moving out of the house and everything. I think he was like 25 or 26 or something like that. And he wanted to get rid of all his Legos. And he was like, hey, do you want them? So I took them all. So I had plenty of Lego uh, as a kid, which was super duper fun. And I really, really enjoyed building it. But at the same time, then when we moved to Canada, I had to basically do the exact same thing as that guy did, which uh, meant giving it away. And I gave it all away to um, my cousins and such, and uh, they still have it. So they still mess around with it, they still play with it. And uh, that's really, really awesome. It's really cool to see that, you know, I was able to move on the Lego pieces and give them to somebody else to enjoy. And I don't know, there's just something cool about kind of passing down the torch in that manner. And uh, I really like that. So that was really, really cool. 
So hope that that answers your question as well. And then of course, ladies and gentlemen, what an appropriate way to end this. A question from, or a comment from Happy TIMZ3 says, don't feel alone, I suck at Lego stickers too. I now do not feel alone. Thank you very much, Happy TIMZ3. Makes me feel really, really great to hear that somebody else is not particularly great at Lego stickers. I don't know what it is, they make me nervous, it makes me really spazzy that I know that it's not straight it's like i guess that's my ocd or something kicking in where i'm just like oh my god it's not straight what the heck why is it not straight we gotta correct it come on this is and then it's gonna bother me knowing that it's not straight if it's sitting on my shelf and it's not straight or something yeah i know it's weird but here's our little spider trike look at that that this thing is really cool look at that it comes up like this and uh, that's pretty sweet you gotta obviously push missiles i'm not gonna push those out because they're probably gonna get stuck behind my table and then i will or desk and i will never ever find them again because knowing my luck that's exactly what would happen so there you guys have it that is another episode of let's build probably the shortest episode to date but of course don't forget i'll be back with more and some of those will be longer some of them will be shorter so it's really just kind of a balance for you again it's a very very casual type video as you can see i'm much more relaxed when i make these and there's just something really enjoyable about doing these types of videos so i'm really really glad that you guys are enjoying them of course if you guys enjoyed this one and you want to see more of these smash that like button and let me know down in the comment section below any questions or comments and of course you could potentially be chosen to be featured on on the next Let's Build video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. <laughs> that was a electric disc sound. Yep, sounded nothing like it. All right, I'm just gonna go in the corner and pretend like that was cool. <laughs>